today in the morning I received this email and its heading is I'm qualified for classification stroke graduation and it goes dear student I trust you're well and keeping safe we are in receipt of your application for classification and graduation scheduled for July 2022. However, we are unable to classify you due to one or two reasons. Kindly and urgently, let us with the officers in the office of the Dean School of Education, College of Education Building, fourth floor, room 408 or 424 for further guidance. In case you have been given a waiver in any unit, please bring with you the waiver approval letter. Regards, name, brackets, PhD, associate, Dean School of Education, Kenyatta University, Nairobi, Kenya. So truly and honestly, when I received that letter, guys, I was shook. Like shook to the core. Like if you know me, you know I'm firm. Like I never even like budge. But this one really, really got me and it got me so, so bad because I know that one little mistake in KU, I'm going to speak for KU because I've been there long enough to know what I'm saying. Like I was saying, one little mistake can easily get you off the chart and if you have any issue or rather if any issue arises where you're still a student in KU, I would highly, highly advise you to follow it up immediately, immediately, because the longer you wait, the difficult it will be for you to actually solve that. All right. Okay. So another thing, if you have an issue and it needs for you to go to the offices to have it solved, don't stop at you writing a letter don't stop at you you know seeing somebody once be hands-on like literally be hands-on imagine like what i actually had to go through once i got this email and i had to follow things up to be considered you know qualified for gra you know graduation so this is what happened so i joined ku way back and when i joined i kind of sort of got two admission letters so they failed to classify me and tell me why i was going to the said offices and they kept sending me to the most irrelevant irrelevant offices and trust me guys this this time i had gotten to another office and they sent me to the washroom guys tell me the disrespect yo <laughs> How can, like, you're, you're being referred to a room number, and when you go to that room number, you actually find it's a washroom. Like, <laughs> like, yo, me, we took you many petisha, uh uh. Like, I had to follow, and when I eventually got considered for graduation, I just broke down, and my emotions were just everywhere and yeah that's basically it the main aim of this video was honestly to tell all the ku guys if you're in ku and if you're having any issue whatsoever you just need to be hands-on you're not the problem trust me it's their system it's their offices and it's the workers who are not getting it right you are not the problem all you just have to do is be hands-on 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 so i'm gonna be doing a series um my journey in ku series because i've grown a lot in ku i've transitioned i've been in weird good relationships 
when I was in KU and I love to talk about that now that that chapter is almost complete I'd, you know, I'd, I'd, like us to, I'd like us to engage and see and interact like KU alumni get to know each other and all that beautiful stuff so thank you so much for watching like, comment, share, subscribe see you in the next one